Hi, my name's Sean Nicholson from East Durham College. Uh, I'm Head of Sport and I'm here to take you through uh, what's on offer at the college. So we do a, a whole host of, of qualifications uh, in both Level 1, Level 2 and Level 3, uh, progressing under the Foundation degree, uh, which is Level 4 stroke Level 5. Um, that's a list of the qualifications which I'm going to go through in a little bit more detail. So the level two sport and exercise uh, course, uh, this is for students who didn't quite get uh, enough GCSEs to get on the level three program. So it might be students that got a lot of um, grade threes and some grade fours. Um, members need to resit maths and English. Um, and this is the sort of first step and so on uh, under progression for level three. Um, Topics that we cover is obviously there's the practical element of sport, uh, anatomy, physiology, how the body works, um, fitness testing and training, uh, nutrition for, for sports performance. Um, you'll understand the development of, of personal fitness and the effects of exercise on the body. Uh, you'll also learn about injuries within sport and you'll be inv involved in planning and leading some sports activities. Um, from this qualification, the opportunities to go into sports coaching, sports development, uh, into the fitness industry uh, is your, you know, your first steps within within fitness instruction um, and maybe working to be a personal trainer. Um, and it can also link in with other other jobs, for instance, the army, nurse, and um, and other other things along the lines of that. Uh, entry requirements are that you must have uh, five GCSEs between two and three. Um, obviously, preferably some fours. Um, if you don't get maths and English at four, you will uh, you will reset that reset the maths and English throughout the course um, as part of the study program. The level three sport and exercise science program. Um, this is for students who achieve five GCSEs at four and above, including maths and English. Um, the qualification is uh, there is a couple of exams within the qualification, but it's primarily coursework orientated. Um, over the two years, it's equivalent to three year levels. Um, Topics include anatomy and physiology uh, with sport and exercise, um, and then applied uh, physiology, uh, applied research methods, um, physical activity within individuals and, and group based exercise. Uh, you'll do specialised fitness training, uh, you'll learn about socio cultural issues within sport and exercise, um, you'll learn about instructing physical activity, you'll also do some coaching for sports performance, learn about nutrition, and do a lot about sports injuries and assessments. Um, there's also a, a high practical element to it uh, in, where you'll get to play a whole host of different sports. Job opportunities are to, gain, to get into things like sports science, sports coaching, sports therapy. Um, a lot of these uh, would um, sort of, you'd have to go on to do it either the foundation degree or a full degree um, to, to get into uh, on, a, on a high professional level. Uh, things like physiotherapists, things like that. Uh, armed forces, we do get quite a lot of students who do this qualification and go into the armed forces or, or the Navy um, and things like that um, from this. Moving on to the, the level three NCFE sport and fitness qualification. It's worth exactly the same as what the, the BTEC one is. Um, but the, this, this one is solely coursework and it's a little bit more um, um, practical. There's a little bit more practical element to it. Um, very similar um, types of modules uh, or units, what the previous one is, um, but a little bit more practical elements to it. Um, it's a good progression from our level two uh, sports students as well to come on to the to level three in, in NCFE sport fitness. Again, jobs very, very similar, uh, what you can get into. Um, and we do get quite a lot of students from this program go on to our foundation degree or go to university itself. We also offer A level PE. Um, this can be done as a combination of maybe uh, a BTEC uh, or NCFE course and an A level PE along, alongside that. Um, for the for the BTEC, it might be a case of instead of doing the full um, course you might do sort of two thirds of the course, and, and you know the other time would be spent doing this A level. Um, the A level includes anatomy, and physiology, um, psychology for sports performance. Uh, you do things on biomechanics, skill acquisition, um, sport and society, uh, contemporary issues, uh, as well as other components of practical elements uh, within the sport within, within the course. Um, obviously, with it being A levels, the the exam at the end of the second year will be your final uh, final grade. Um, again, to get on this, you need five GCSEs uh, uh, above four, including maths and English. 
foundation degree. Now, this is something that a lot of students progress to, um, or students from um, or, or adults and learners from from elsewhere see this and decide to come on it. Um, it is basically a, a two-year course. Uh, and it is essentially the first two years of, of a full three-year degree. Uh, it's run in collaboration with Sunderland University, and generally what happens is students do two years at the college and then go off to, to do the final year at Sunderland to get their full honours degree. Um, with on the course, you do various units within uh, sports coaching, professional development, sports psychology, anatomy and physiology, performance analysis, fitness testing and training, personal training and sports injuries and research methods. It's the idea of qualification if you want to take your career further forward within the sports industry, you know, looking to do things like coaching in, you know, within clubs and um, PE teaching and other, uh, <coughs> excuse me, other, other industries with it within that. Yeah. It's very vocational based. Uh, it improves career uh, prospects uh, massively. Uh, it's accessible. Um, if you're unsure about uh, going to university, this is a great step and so on because the, the lectures can help you a lot more than if you went straight to university. Um, you can obviously stay close to families and, and friends within the local area, you don't have to travel. Um, it's got dual status, so you'll be a, a part of the Eastern College and get the benefits of free bus and, and things like that, and free gym membership. Also, you'll be a part of the Sunday University, so you'll get free uh, membership to their gyms, etc., and, and all, the, all the things that comes with what they are. Um, you'll also save money because it's slightly cheaper um, to, to come to do a foundation degree than a, than a full degree. Um, and a lot of students are eligible to elite athlete schemes where if you are good at a certain sport, um, you've got high grades. For instance, if you get triple distinction for a, for a BTEC programme, you will be eligible for this. And it's generally about £1,000 off the overall course fee. So it's worth applying for that. And if you see us within the college, we'll be able to help you out uh, with, with setting that up. Evening classes, we do a selection of evening classes from the level three personal training, level two gym instructors, um, level two indoor cycling and level two circuit training. These are all generally run uh, on weekdays between 5.30 and 8.30. Um, and it's you know it gets you into to, to jobs you know within within the leisure industry. For instance, if you get your level two gym instructors, you can work in any gym. If you do your level three personal training, then you are eligible to be an actual personal trainer, and you know get paid for for doing that. Within the course, we've we you know we've got several uh, sporting academies attached to it and um, we've got the cricket academy which is based at uh, which is based at Durham University which is used uh, the only one year old or one and a half year old cricket centre um, which is uh, unbelievably good the facilities are excellent there um, using the bowling machines and you've got Merlin the bowling machine and you've got um, some excellent coaches there that'll help us out the Boxing Academy based at Pete Lee and within East Durham College, uh, run by David Binns. We've had excellent boxers come to the college to do courses and then go off to progress in amateur or professional boxing careers. And, and the facility is obviously a second to none. Um, we've got the Rugby Academy. Um, we've had so we've got a good link with Durham University, so you know we'll give our students the greatest opportunity to come and do their, you know, training rugby. Uh, do their academic skills and then go off to maybe Durham University or other other universities or, or the foundation degree. Um, Impact Gym is there where, as a free uh, free to students if you come to the college, and um, you'll be able to use that when you when, in your downtime. Uh, football Academy, both men and and women football academy. Um, so come here. We've got links to uh, Spennymoor Town now. Uh, that's for the men's and for the women's Hartlepool. Um, so come here join the Football Academy and do your, your course alongside that. The Netball Academy, this is run on a, on a generally throughout, throughout the week, one or, two, one or two sessions for anybody who's actually interested in, in playing netball. Dance Academy, again, running in collaboration with a lot of the courses in the college. Um, you can join the Dance Academy and do, do your things there. Um, also, we've got the Basketball Academy. Again, this is all incorporated within. You'll, you'll, be, you'll do your training time within your... Um, within your course timetable. And obviously we've got the, the, facil the facilities that you'll have been through hopefully in the, in the video preceding this. Um, and 
what you can look to do. You, you don't have to do one academy. You know, if you think, well, I enjoy cricket and football, you can you can combine them. You don't have to just stick to one. Um, you just basically let the coaches know which sessions you're going to turn up to, and they'll incorporate that in for you. And the benefits of studying at the college, um, free, free physiotherapy. So if you get any injuries, either playing at the weekend or um, during your uh, training or games, uh, you'll have access to free physiotherapy. All you need to do is just book in. Uh, you'll get a free bus pass from, from a lot of areas within the country, uh, from the northeast. Um, if you are out for, for outside the area, you will also be able to get um, some, some some bus money back if you if you come from certain places where we don't have the bus route. We've got state-of-the-art uh, gym facilities for you to use free of charge. Uh, we'll links with Spenny Moor Town Football Club, uh, Durham University. We've got some of the best coaches in the northeast, uh, and the academy training embeds within the timetable, so you, you won't miss uh, certain elements. Uh, for further details, you can contact myself, Sean Nicholson. Uh, there's my email on there. Uh, so please, with any questions, um, just uh, just get in touch. And that ends the presentation. So um, what you can do now is you'll be able to join the the live talk um, if you if you want to ask any further questions, or you know just get in touch anytime when you're free. Thanks so much. Bye.